Here's my setup for paper dyeing today. I have different new colors of dyes that I bought, so I wanted to try them out. And here's my tea. I heated up four cups of water and put in six bags of, I think it's called black tea, which I assume is darker than the normal tea, but I'm not a tea drinker, so I'm not sure. Anyway, that's the amount of tea that I use. You can use more or less depending on how dark or light you want your papers. I have had good success with that amount, so that's what I stick with. Okay, now I'm going to show you a technique with stencils. And after I dip the paper in the tea or the ink dye, I lay a stencil on top of the paper. Then, if I think it needs a little more of the liquid, I just take my little plastic spoon and I spread it around a little bit like that. And then you just let it dry like that and the pattern it makes is really cool. Let's do one more. I soak the paper in the tea, lay it down, dripping all over the place, <laughs> lay down my stencil, and then you can leave it like that or just take a little more tea, whatever your liquid is, and spread it out. Now these take a little bit longer than to dry than the normal ones, but it's worth it. And also, some of my stencils have leftover paints and other things on them because I don't clean them, so that might come off on the paper, so if that bothers you, you use cleaner stencils, but it doesn't bother me and I think it looks cool. Okay, let's do one of each color to show the colors and with a stencil and then I'll do the rest on my own and I'll show you the end results. I'm gonna leave that one like that, I think it's good. Okay, let's try the coral color. That was the teal that I just did. This looks, ooh, kind of bloody. All right, look out. Let's try that and grab a stencil. And I'll get one, one of these days. There's that, that one looks okay too, I think. But just for good measure, let's throw a little more liquid on there and see if it makes a difference. Okay. Okay, let's try the denim blue color, which looks very purple. And I'm, I am getting a little bit of red from my gloves on the paper, and again, I don't mind that so much. Right there. And let's put this stencil here. I think that one has a good amount of liquid on it. So. Okay, now we're trying yellow. Whoops, and splashing everywhere. And I just tore my paper, whoopsies. Okay. And let's try the stencil. And I'm gonna put a little more yellow on this one because it looks very light and that probably is a result of me not measuring. Okay, here's where we are with the papers. I used all the colors, I used some of my stencils, and I also tea dyed some architectural drawings that my husband gives me instead of throwing them away, because they're old ones that he would normally throw away, he gives them to me. Now I turn these uh, overhead fans on my back porch on and I leave them for I don't know, maybe an hour and come back and they're usually dry. I don't time it. I just go do something else. So we'll check back with you in a bit. Okay, I've picked up most of my papers, but I left the papers with stencils down to show the big reveal. <laughs> I'd like to see those on videos. I thought other people might like to see those. 
Some of these might still be a little bit wet, so I might have to leave them a little bit. Now that had some blue drip on it or some of the blue dye, I don't know. But I think it looks really pretty. And this next one, oh, that looks nice. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, pretty. It's a little bit of yellow dripped on it. I had a lot of drips. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That is nice. Here's some yellow. This one is still wet. So I might have to, uh, I'm gonna leave that one. This one, which way is there? Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm gonna move it over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, look at that. Wow, that looks nice. Okay, the one I'm hoping turned out really good. Ta -da. <gasps> Look at that. Yeah, that came out good. Okay, so it's the next morning and I wanted to show these papers up close because yesterday when I picked everything up, it was getting later and the light wasn't good. So um, not every single paper was dry either because I put a lot of liquid on some of these. So it took them quite a while to dry. So I left them overnight and I thought I would show you all how they look this morning. I'm gonna move my table thing here. Okay, so first I'll show you the ones with stencils. Um, this one had a combination of um, red and blue and yellow, not by design, <laughs> just because I'm messy, but I love the way that looks and um, some of the design showed up on the back as well. This is from the paper bags and I love the way that looks, so I really like drying my papers on paper on the plastic bags. So here's another one. It's a little faint, the design. I'll go through these a little bit quicker. This one, since it's right on top, I'll just say that it was just a happy accident. I was actually doing the yellow on the front, and I may have put some blue. I don't really remember how this even happened, but when I flipped it over, it looked like this, and I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, here's some red. It's actually coral paper with stencils, pretty. A little blue got in there and I think that looks really nice. This one is also cool. I think it might be upside down, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's how that looks. Blue, the denim blue looks blue again, not purple. And it got a little bit of red and I think it looks really cool. And the design is very faint on these darker ones. And um, another thing that I think, you know, somebody could try if they haven't already done this is to dye these papers with one color and then do another color on top with the stencils. And I'll probably try that at some point in the future. This one is kind of cool. Again, very faint. Here's the back. Look at that. Look at that pattern on the back. I couldn't do that if I tried, probably. This is very, very faint. You can, you can barely see it. Okay, here's the teal. I really like this color. The back of that. And some leaves. And another one that um, had some, has some writing on it that I don't, I don't know if it came off the stencil or what, but it transferred, it's pretty cool. This one's extremely faint. Okay, and again, this is one of my favorites with the T. I just love that face. I don't know. I'm probably going to just stare at this one for a while and not use it on anything. Um, again, very faint. Got some blue, got some yellow. And this one came out pretty good. A little bit of blue down there and on the back, which I think also this color and blue, T, T and blue. The blue denim looks good together in my opinion and then I just thought I would show you um, just the papers in general how they come out there um, these are just no, with no stencils and again the back has this cool design um, the yellow the teal the denim this oh this was another stencil one that got left out with a lot of yellow 
I, I kind of dribbled that yellow around a little bit too much, I think. And then I have the plans, architectural plans, mostly tea dyed. I think they look really cool and old. Um, they had some blue on them. I like oh, upside down. I like the way I like the way they look, kind of like old plans that you find in the attic or something. And then what I usually do after this is I take all my papers. Um, these might be a little bit too big to do this with. And I stack them up like this. And I put them under a stack of heavy books overnight or during the day or what, however long. Because I don't usually use these papers immediately. So I just leave them there and then I remember them and then I go grab them. So they flatten out nicely. These aren't actually that crinkled, but some, some come out pretty crinkled. Um, and some people iron them, but I just do it that way with the books because it's just easy and I don't need them immediately. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this um, very simple <laughs> video and I'm going to edit it and hopefully it won't be too long and boring. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.